This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see a string function called strcpy or string copy in C. This strcpy function is used when you want to copy some string from one source to another destination. So, okay, let's see some examples. First, we're gonna create a source string. It's gonna be a character array and here we're gonna specify some values as uh, an city and uh, next we need to specify a target string where we want to copy it's gonna be the target string and uh, let's assign a size of 25 so you know that's enough for our demonstration purpose save it now if you want to copy our this string city from this source array to this target array then what we can do is we can write a program to copy each string from this source array and uh, uh, place it in the in the target array so now uh, for that purpose you know the C uh, programming language provides a function or the built-in function called strcpy which does the same thing so <coughs> you may think like okay in variables if you want to copy the values from one variable to another for you know the integer and floating types we just used to assign the values using this assignment operator for example if we have a variable x and uh, uh, if you want to store the value of y variable in the x then we used to write x equal to y so but in strings and uh, arrays it's not the case so we can't write our source equal to target here so if we do that we're gonna get some errors so for the demonstration purpose I'm just gonna compile it so as you can see here we have incompatible types in assignment error so we can't do this you know after adding a square bracket here and a square bracket here also save it and compile it as you can see we get some errors like syntax error before you know this um, uh, square bracket token so if you want to copy the string in uh, C programming language you have to use the strcpy function so first see how this strcpy function works so in this strcpy function we have to pass two parameters it's gonna be first the target where we want to copy our strings to then we have to specify the source from where we want to copy our strings from so it's gonna be a source if we are going to use our, this strcpy function in our program then we have to write strcpy that's the function name then we have to specify first uh, the array where we want to copy to it's going to be the target array then we have to specify the location from which we want to copy the string it's going to be the source array in this case it's going to be source here so uh, save it then the next thing we're gonna do is we just to print the values or the strings present in this source and the target array so we're gonna write printf then we're gonna use this percentage as specify because you know we are dealing with the string then we're gonna refer our source array first and we're gonna copy this printf statement and we're gonna paste it and we're gonna make it target so okay let's add a new line here to make it pretty save it compile it and uh, run it so as you can see here you know first we have the val string from this source array that's anil shetty and after using this strcpy function now our target array also contains the string anil shetty so what this strcpy function does is it will copy this uh, source string one character at a time so it's gonna copy a and it's gonna place it in the uh, target array then it's gonna copy n and it's gonna pla place it in the target array similarly it's gonna do until it encounters a null character so in string if a null character is encountered that means that you know that's the end of the string so and the last thing I'm gonna tell you in this tutorial is when we are copying this source uh, to this target uh, as a programmer it's, it's our responsibility to allocate the size you know which can um, uh, store this value so if you specify less memory space here then you know it's gonna write offset this array and uh, 
it may make your program to you know work differently so this is it this is about the strcpy function and uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i see you in the next tutorial